Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to be joined by Marlene Yeskin, an appointee to the er governor's early learning council. Marlene, thanks so much Hi. for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. So tell us, what is the early learning council? So the early learning council is part of the governor's uh, the education reform um, for the state of Oregon, and um, its um, its goal is to prepare. Uh, children for kindergarten um, and to ultimately have students um, reading at first grade level by the end of first grade. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and yours is an appointed position, is that right? It is. Okay, so tell us a little about your background uh, in, 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 in education and leadership that has earned you this appointment. Well, um, I am committed to conserving a public education system in this country. I, I was raised by two immigrant parents from Peru, and so um, they uh, instilled in me a, a great level of respect for the services and, and system that the United States provided and one of those is the public education system so mm -hmm. um, so I'm very committed to keeping it uh, effective and making sure that other children will get the same experiences that I had um, and opportunities that it provided mm -hmm. um, I also sit on the Medford School District board and um, I have um, involved myself on the City of Medford's Budget Committee and Housing and Community Development Commission. Um, in addition to that, I think it's always important for me to always know um, uh, what's going on in the community, not solely in education, but in other areas as well. So health being one of those. So I, I also sit on the board of the um, community um, health centers uh, mm -hmm. board. Oh, sure. yeah. and, um, and I have, uh, as a, as a, as a student or as a daughter of immigrant parents, my mm -hmm. first language was Spanish. So I'm an English language learner myself going yeah. through the American public education system. Yeah. And so I bring that background and experience. As you know, uh, the Latino, the number of Latino, um, Latinos in the the United States is increasing in the population. And so um, I also was a product of Head Start. Mm -hmm. And so I was fortunate enough to work with Head Start families in Southern Oregon and um, uh, was able to witness firsthand um, just the effect that those services and tools um, can have on a family um, working on young, uh, working with children at such a young age. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, I have a master's degree in public administration. Mm -hmm. I have a law degree. I'm a practicing attorney with the firm of Black Chapman, Weber, and Stevens. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I advocate for equal opportunity, equal education opportunities and not only advocate for children with special needs, but also advocate for children with, um, that are English language learners uh, coming from, or, or students from um, lower income families. Mm -hmm. um, and in addition to that, I also advocate for um, uh, students from, uh, gifted and talented students and unhonored students, because those students um, generally uh, sometimes feel the brunt of financial deficits. And sure. so, um, but overall, I, I, I enjoy working in the education system because I believe it's a wonderful opportunity for, um, for an individual. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll get into a little bit of the nitty-gritty okay. details of the council in just a moment. But first, okay. we're going to take a quick break. Stay okay. with us. <laughs> Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Marlene Yeskin, an appointee to the Governor's Early Learning Council. Marlene, tell us, is there anything going on locally that coincides with the work the council's doing? Yes. Um, we have uh, members of com the community from Jackson County and Josephine County um, meeting on a regular basis to address early learning um, investment for the, the two communities and to um, to see how to better implement our systems and uh, where we can create better eff effective systems and, and uh, inefficiencies. And so it's just been, um, it's been so great to see these two communities collaborating. I know they've, they've done it in the past and they've continued to do it, but just the amount of um, work that um, these members, uh, and they involve public, members of the of public sector, members of the um, private business sector, um, and they, um, uh, church, uh, churches, religious mm -hmm. organizations, and nonprofit organizations. And so they're all getting together to collaborate on how to best um, serve um, Jackson and Josephine County residents mm -hmm. um, reg in regards to early learning mm -hmm. uh, services. Okay. And, uh you know, why, why is early childhood education so important to kids? I know mm -hmm. the governor likes to point to some research on this. Are you yes. up with that? Yes. 
<laughs> well, we have um, all sorts of experts on the Early Learning Council um, that do um, work with that type of information and that mm -hmm. research. And, um, and, and so the research does demonstrate that um, the, the younger the, the, the child is, um, the more you can influence um, their long-term education experience. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so there is benefit in investing at an earlier age for um, a child and, and in their education yeah. Um, experience. Yeah, okay. All right. And roughly how many people, just to give us an idea, how many people are on the council and is Southern Oregon well represented? Well, at the last meeting, um, we had a bunch of new um, members. And so we're probably around, I would say, uh, 15 or so. But there's mm -hmm. uh, continuous um, uh, additions mm -hmm. um, on the council. And so um, Southern Oregon, I believe I am the only one um, mm -hmm. from um, from Medford, mm -hmm. um, there actually is uh, representation from Roseburg um, as well, and so. Um, but we do. Um, uh, so, I, so I do think that it's yeah. it's adequately represented at this time. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see. I know it's early in the process. You guys are still forming your subcommittees and, and all this. Right. When will we begin seeing changes, roughly, of course? I know you guys are very right. early in the process. Right. Um, so hope, hopefully um, we are actually currently seeing some changes within communities. Communities, um, like I said, even in Southern Oregon, um, people are already getting together, collaborating. Uh, what can we do? Um, and uh, and um, working on this issue and uh, working on all the fine points related mm -hmm. to um, the governor's early learning um, plan. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so we've, we're already seeing communities move and, and start um, on that path of um, helping children become uh, ready yeah. um, to learn at kindergar in kindergarten mm -hmm. and, um, and be successful in school. But um, uh, I believe uh, the, the, the direct changes for everyone will, will be in effect by next year. Okay, Marlene, great to meet you. Thank Thanks you so very much. much. Thank you.